right top of the morning to you. Um, I am heading into Baxter State Park this morning. And question is, Baxter State Park, should it be a national park? Um, I saw a list of state parks where they <clears throat> had the potential to be national parks or should be national parks, however it was uh, laid out. I don't remember exactly. Um, but um, in terms of, it was, it was a list of parks, that, state parks that could be national parks. And Baxter uh, here in Maine was number one on the list. Um, so it's a beautiful, from what I can see so far, it's a beautiful place. So anyway, just, just uh, got in, or that's at eight, maybe that was 8.9 miles to the south entrance. But anyway, um, anyway, going in today, going to do some hiking and see about maybe, do, hopefully do a little bit of fly fishing as well. So um, stick around. See what happens. You, you do, Don. Morning, sir. Where are you heading? Uh, I got a past park at the Roaring uh, Campground. Okay. And just you. Yes, sir. Leave this up on your dash when you get down there to hike. That's for us. We want to be able to read your name, okay? You and at go. the end of the day, we'll take that back. And All right. The metal box. I'll get you sixteen dollars. All right, I'm heading in to see Chimney Pond. This stream here looks pretty good. I may hit this on when I come back. I don't know if brook trout in that or not, but definitely looks good. So, in Baxter here, first impression, beautiful park. This place is designated to be wild. That's the way it was when it was given to the state. That was the mandate, and boy, they keep it that way. It's strict. No, you can't even walk your dog here, so. Which seems a little ridiculous, but anyway. Um, so, all right, keep moving. That's sobering. Wow. Wow, that guy's eye is incredible. Well, wow, this hike up to Chimney Pond is ain't easy for an over 50 year old man. But, uh, wow, that's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All this fog moving in, it's just beautiful. This place is incredible. This is a hard 3.3 miles. Still a mile to go, dang. Hang on. All right, about a mile to go. 
This is a hard butt 3.3 miles. You got out through game plus rocky, it's like a rock garden for a trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a unique day. They say trout don't live in ugly places. Sometimes it's just good to explore and enjoy the places that trout live. Because sometimes they are just captivating. And that's the way it was on this day. I was very intrigued to hike Mount Cadet. Wow. I don't know the video is going to do this justice. Almost there. Windy enough. I don't know if I'll be able to do any fly fishing there. Ah, that indicator I should be able to do something. Wow. Wow, wow, it's definitely incredible up here. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like you were dropped into Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, something like that. It's beautiful. Snow up here in June. And you're on the East Coast. Crazy. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. This mountain absolutely amazed me. The coolest Rocky Mountain east of the Mississippi that I have ever laid eyes on. Wow, what an incredible place this uh, Baxter State Park is. It's interesting, Mr. Baxter that donated all this land wanted uh, no advertisement. So if you've never heard of this place, then you understand why. It is truly uh, a one of a kind, very unique place. Looks like it could be in Idaho, Colorado, Montana. It is amazing, and it's in Maine. Uh, this high alpine lake is just totally incredible, totally incredible. Let's see if I can catch a few brook trout, and then I'm on the hiking back. Well, I'm under shelter up here uh, on uh, Mount Canada, and uh, <laughs> thank goodness for this shelter. I'm gonna wait out this thunderbanger before I head down the trail, and then there's a lake down further that I'm gonna try to catch some brook trout in, so see how that goes. Hopefully get some on, uh, get in the net. Hopefully get a few in the net, but even if not, this is a beautiful place. Oh, hello, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, no. 
まだ案内に結構見ていったんです。You want to take one more step? I'll bet you can run. Yeah. Goodness, they want it. They can't get it in their mouth. <laughs> well, I got that one. Yeah, a teeny, a little pretty main native. You know, one finally hit the greeny wing or the nymph. Yeah. Oh goodness. Went out of the hole in my net. It was so little. There we go. I barely scratched the surface of the fishable water around this Baxter State Park area. I certainly would like to go back sometime and explore it in better detail. a uh, wrap on uh, Baxter State Park um, what a gem what a gem it, it had some interest in folks had some interest in it being a national park many years ago but it's a state park that is deemed to stay wild they're not allowed to advertise it um, it is like there's it's, it's like there's a piece of Colorado Wyoming or Montana or something in Maine it's kind of wild um, but that was just absolutely beautiful up there and uh, caught a few uh, few natives and uh, that uh, wrapped up the day so thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next one